What's going on y'all? It's your boy Larry Wills. I'm coming back to you on my channel with another MCA training video, okay? Tonight's training is going to be a teaching training. I'm going to teach you how to close your leads, how to close your sales, how to get leads and all that good stuff, right? Because what you've been doing so far up to this point obviously hasn't been working. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into what I do with my team every Monday and every Tuesday night, but I just wanted to make this you know, public to, so that everybody can see it because I'm a strong believer that if I help enough people get what they want, then I'm gonna automatically get what I want. Golden rules, Zig Ziglar, right? So tonight's training, MCA training, is gonna be about how to close as a beginner, how to get sales as a beginner, how to get leads as a beginner so that you can stop struggling, right? So if you're here, obviously you've been trying to post videos on YouTube, you've been posting the Facebook groups, you've been posting the uh, Craigslist, you've been, you know, probably buying solo ads, bent, um, you probably had your Facebook account shut down a couple of times. A lot of things been going wrong. And so you're looking for something that's gonna help you get you over that hump so that you can start making consistent, predictable income, right? Because that's the only way that you're gonna either be able to quit your job or that you're gonna either be able to uh, supplement your income or create a, a sustainable you know, income for you and your family to live comfortable off of. So I promise, you, my promise to you, pretty much, my promise to you tonight is that by the time you're finished watching this video, you want to know exactly how to close yourselves as a beginner. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me just make sure the tape is rolling. Perfect, perfect. And we can go in. So how to close it as a beginner, right? First thing that you do when you, when you, when you, when you first start MCA, you came on board <laughs> and you were sold the high hopes dream of, of being able to make $1,000 or more per week every single week with MCA, right? Somehow, some way, things got caught up in translation and you weren't able to accomplish that goal. Uh, this may be more in a part because this is something that you, you know, this is your first business opportunity that you're embarking upon. Maybe you've been in several different opportunities, but you all, you, every single one that you've been in, you seem to keep getting the same results, right? For one thing is that because you don't know how to market. Marketing is the, is the most important thing when it comes to running your MCA business. So what is marketing? Marketing, just to be bland, right? Marketing, simply put, is a message, right? So most people think that and I'm a writer, I like to write things so you can actually visualize it, right? Most people think that Facebook, YouTube, Craigslist, paid ads, right? Paid ads, flyers, right? Or anything offline. Most people think of all these things as marketing. Oh, marketing, I'm doing Facebook marketing, I'm doing YouTube marketing, I'm doing Craigslist marketing, I'm doing paid ads marketing. Flyers, offline, I'm doing all this marketing, 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 right? You're wrong. This is not marketing. These are only considered tools. That's a tool, right? That's your tool. So if you if you understand what I'm ready to tell you, you're gonna make more money this week than you made in MCA the whole time that you've been in. I don't care if you've been in MCA for seven years, five years, three years, two months, one week, three seconds, two days, right? You're gonna make more money this week than you, did, than, than you have made since you've been in MCA, if you understand what I'm about to tell you. So the first thing you must understand, wipe everything out of your mind. Wipe all the bull crap that people been telling you out of your mind because it's, it don't work. It's not making, it's not working. That's the bottom line, right? It's not working and you know that there's a better way. You know there's a better way because you see people making these money. You look at back offices, you see people back office, not so much as flashing the cash because you can get cash from anywhere. But when you peer into somebody back office and you see the date, 2017, March 2017, February, January, and you see 1,000, 3,000, 4,000, you know there's a better way because there is somebody else out there making what you want to make. You just haven't been taught how to do that yet, and somehow, some way, they're holding the secret. But then even when you sign up with the person that's making that money, they still don't give away the secret. Yeah, they may tell you to do a couple things or send you to other people's training and things of that nature, but you're still struggling. Why is that? Because they understand one thing. They understand that this is a tool and not the marketing. So what is marketing, right? Marketing, simply put, is the message that you send out to the marketplace. 
right? So this is a message that I'm sending to the marketplace. This is the marketing piece, the content, the message, right? You use a tool to send that message out to the marketplace, right? If you don't have a compelling message or something that, that's, going to comp that's going to pretty much compel someone to join you in business, right? Or if that message is garbage or if you're sending out crap, right? And you're using tools to send out crap, then you're going to get crap back, right? You're not going to get no one joining. You're not going to get no one asking about your opportunity. And then a lot of the people that you do draw in always ask you the dumbest questions. Is this a scam? Is this real, right? How much money can I make in one week, right? Those silly questions. I never get that. My team never gets that, right? Because we understand marketing, right? So when you got a message, that's the first thing you want to do. You want to craft a compelling message, right? So how do you craft a compelling message? Well, when I teach my team, right? Like I said, this is a sneak peek of what I, what I do for my team. When I teach my team, I teach them how to write words on paper that make, make people do things, right? How to put words on paper that make people buy stuff, bottom line. And the way that you do that is that you got to touch people's emotions. You got to stop thinking about MCA as, as the no, as the one all be all. Because when you do that, you sit around and you start looking and feeling like everybody else, thinking like everybody else, right? If everybody else is doing this, you have to do the polar opposite of what everybody else is doing. Because if you, if you continue to do the same thing that everyone else is doing, you're gonna to continue to get the same dumb, lame results. That's the bottom line, right? So I teach my team to do the polar opposite of what everyone else is doing. Because in network marketing, inside this industry, we all are struggling from the same problem. And I don't care if it's you, if it's the person that, you, that recruited you, if it's 14 people that you recruited into the business, we all used to, well, all of us struggle from the same problem. And that problem is, one, we don't, we, we, we don't know how to get leads, right? So we run around, we contact our family and friends, we, we, we start scrolling, or I'm gonna say trolling our Facebook wall, we start putting up all types of bogus video on our YouTube channel because we don't understand what YouTube is for versus what Facebook is for, right? And then we run out of people to talk to. And when we run out of people to talk to, we realize that we still paying this $20 per month to be an MCA. So instead of MCA being a financial blessing, it, is a, it has turned into a financial burden because all you did is actually put another bill inside your household, right? So let me show you how to turn it around. First thing you want to do is create a compelling message, right? That message, pick a, pick a, pick a market. Like, what, what is your occupation? Maybe you was a cashier or a clerk. Maybe you worked at a convenience store. Maybe you worked at a warehouse, a nurse, a nursing assistant. Maybe you, you know, worked um, at a bank. Maybe you in sales, right? You, you, you stay in the call center. You knock door to door. Pick an occupation. It doesn't matter. That's the occupation that you're going to resonate with when you create your compelling message, right? I'm a salesman. I deal with all types of salesmen. And I'm, I'm gonna use me as, as an example, but try to relate it to your industry, okay? So imagine if, if I'm talking about your industry as I create this example, because this is the best way I know how to deliver this message to you without messing it up, okay? I don't wanna try to make up something that I'm not familiar with because then you won't get it. So I'm in sales. I did, I, I, when I had a full-time job, <laughs> I'm so glad I don't know, right? But when I was working a full-time job, I would have to go into work, sit at a cubicle all day, pick up the phone and start dialing out, trying to sell items or services over the phone to consumers all the time, right? As salespeople, I, I know that I understand when it comes to my compensation, when it comes to getting paid, the more people that I sell to, the more money I make, right? So I can go to work, I can work eight hour shift. If I make seven sales that day, I'm gonna get paid a certain amount of commission on top of my, on top of my salary. If I go into work in that same eight hour shift, in order to make more money, I make more sales, right? So if I go into work and instead of getting seven sales, I got 14 sales, now I'm gonna increase my salary, right? Based on the number of people I sold. So I, the, more, the more I sell, the more money I make. And I know being in my industry, that is one of the problems that we as salespeople face. The leads suck, we can't get a lot of sales, it feels like it's saturated, all the costs feel the same. Everybody's battling in the same territory, 
right? And it's just like one big headache on top of HR, on top of your boss screaming down your back, on top of corporate and all this type of stuff, right? That's the pain point. So in my message, I'm gonna suck out that pain point to, so as though they know that, they, that I relate to them, right? How do I do that? What's going on? I'm gonna just give you an example of some type of content I would make, okay? So bear with me. And this is a writer downer, so you might wanna listen real good. Turn off all your distractions, listen real good, because this is an example that I would create as a message to go out to a group of people so I can get sales into MCA, right? So I would just say, hey guys, how's it going? My name's Larry Wills. Um, I was a salesman, and if you're looking at this, you may be a salesman as well. And what happens in sales is that we have a hard time getting leads. We have a hard time closing people because it feels like everything's saturated. It feels like we can't, in order to make more money, we have to do overtime. And as a salesman, that's just not part of our vocabulary. So you're probably struggling right now. But I figured out a way on how to allow you to create an entire separate income without doing any more hours, without putting out any more content, without putting, you know, without messing with those ugly leads. And if you wanna know how you can do that in your household, then I'm gonna need you to click on this link and I'll go ahead and, and teach you how. That's the message. That's the message. So any salesperson that sees that message, they're gonna be like, oh man, that sound, he sound like he's talking to me. I'm gonna have to go in and see what's up with that, right? If you are a clerk, if you work at the cashier, right? Same message, just change, same delivery, just change the message, right? If you go to store, if you go to, work every single day you got to get out your bed you got to you know weave through traffic buy the weave through traffic just to walk into a building where your boss think that they own the entire nationwide company that whatever company you work for that is a headache you know more than her first off but you don't get paid what you're worth if you are tired of working that silly job and you want to just not quit your job but find a way that can supplement that income meaning that you'll make just as much as you would on your job without picking up a second job and without working a, another shift i can teach you how to do that because i used to work at such and such i played the 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 you know victim as well i know exactly what you're going through click on the link so i can show you how to actually change your situation that's a message, right? I didn't say anything about MCA. I didn't say anything. I'm touching all those emotional hot buttons, right? And I go into a great depth of detail on how to do that when you, with my team training. So here's the plug. If you want training, holler at me, you know, send me an email or something. But moving on. When you got that message and it's compelling, you can use any tool to send that message out to the market. And when that marketplace get that message and they are you know resonating with you and they're part of that industry and they see that message they're going to click the link right so here's where the problem coming in because you may got the message you may got the tools so let's just break this down into three steps okay so step one you got your message All right let me make sure we still record so step one you got your message okay you know the audience that you're going to send it to, you got the whole message, right? So we got that out the way. So what's step two? Make sure you write this down because I'm, I'm about to erase this, right? Now, and I'm teaching y'all how to get sales. I'm going to teach you how to get sales with MCA. This is what I do. I teach my team to do it, and we break bank all the time, right? So that's just step one, your message. So you got your message, and you know which tool that you're going to use to send it out, okay? Now, when people see that message, they click on the link, and where, where nine times out of ten, where do a person go to? They go to your capture page. Your, 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 uh, I'm not your capture page. Well, some people got capture pages set up, some people don't. But nine times out of ten, they landed on your website, right? Or they may land on your capture page, okay? So step two would be your funnel. I'm going to just call it a funnel, right? Your sales funnel. So step two is your sales funnel. Okay, and your sales funnel may consist of one, your capture page, right? CP. And then two, your website, right? You may get a person this far. They may click on your ad, they may go through this, but you're still not getting the dollars to drop off the back of it. You're still not getting the dollars to come out the end. Why are you not getting the dollars to come out the end? 
because there is something missing and I'm going to show you how to fix it. There's something that you're not doing right and I'm going to show you how to fix it right this minute, right? So what, what can be done here to make this more powerful? First off, you need a piece of content in the middle of this, right? I don't care if this is a PDF, a video, an ebook. <laughs> if you write, if you wrote an ebook, I don't care what type of piece of content it is. This is a piece of content that's going to teach them something, right? It's going to teach them about what it is that you do. This can be a whole presentation right here. This can be a presentation, okay? Your presentation. It has to be compelling enough for them to want to be interested in order to come to your website, right? And when they get that presentation and it's, and it's compelling and they see it and they like it and they want to know how can they join your team, then they come to your website, okay? Now, this is the most important thing right here. And I promise you guys, if you get this part right of your funnel, this is where your money comes from. Right? So you got them going to your website. Okay? Let's talk about your website. Because nine times out of ten, it's not built right. And, and you don't have it, you don't have it created the way that it should be created in order to do the, do its job, which means close sales. Okay, that's the job of your website to close sales. Your job is sorry about that guys, we got we got cut off. But your job isn't to isn't to close them. That's your website's job, right? But nine times out of ten, you have your website configured wrong. So, let me tell you is that there's three components that you must have on your website. There's maybe four, but I'm going to break down each, each component, right? So, the first component, now let's say you're trying to get, now you don't want, you don't, you got to, you got to organize your website in a, in a concise way to walk a person straight down the path. Because if you, if you don't do that, then what you're going to have is a confused human being that's going to be like, this is just too much. I'm going to go and find somebody else that know what they're doing, right? So this is how you have to have your website. So let's say this is the person, right? And they just went through, I'm going I'm to switch to the same because I agree about the runoff. And they just went through your funnel, okay? They got the step one, they seen your message, they seen your presentation, if you will, and now they've got the land on your website. So they are this close to closing, and this is where 90% of the people mess it up in MCA. So here's the, here's the line. So they done seen your capture page. They like that. They done seen your content. They like that. And they're about to land on your website. What is the first thing that they should see? The first thing that should be on your website, right? Let me just make sure we, we ain't stop again. Good. First thing that should be on your website is the benefits. A video about the benefits. That's it. Not mixed with the conversation plan, not mixed with testimonials. One video about the benefits. Okay? That should be something that they see on your website as the first thing. So they see the benefits video and they like that, right? The next thing, everybody like the benefits. MCA benefits sell themselves. We got the greatest benefits on the planet of the earth. And I believe that to be 100% true. I love our benefits, right? So the next thing that they should see on your website would have to be, of course, right? Your opportunity. I mean, the conversation plan. So they need to see a video about the conversation plan, right? Because that's going to explain to them how you get paid. Piggybacking off of what you done taught them, whatever you done taught them based on how I told you to deliver your message, whatever you done taught them in this piece of content. You understand what I'm saying? So you got your benefits, you got your compensation plan, and this is how your website is structured, okay? And then the next thing that you should have on your website, right? The next thing, because remember, it's, it's more than one thing. The next thing that you have, you have on your website, most people put testimonials on the website. People don't care about the testimonials. They only, people only care about what can you do to help me create a result in my life? That's it. I can, see, I can see all the money in the world that you and other people are making, but if I don't believe and have the confidence that you can help me make it, I'm going to go look for somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? And when they come across my video or my website or my channel or whatever the case may be, I'm going to prove to them that I can help them make the result. Forget my results. I'm going to just show you how to make the result. Right? So they get to your website. And the very next thing that they have to see is a must see, right? Is that they have to see
what type of training that you're offering your team. And what I always do when it comes to the training video, I peek in to our team training, right? I show them all 12, well, now we're up to 17 weeks. I show them all 17 weeks of training. I show them our Master's Academy training. I show them all the comments when the people go through the training, what they say about the training. And then I show them, I go into our photos of the group and show them all the results. Two thousand. This dude made $2,000. This person made $4,000 this week. This person made $600 this week. This person had 8,000 leads in a week. This person reached 25,000 people in a week. You understand what I'm saying? I'm showing them all of those things so that when they think about it, if he, if he helped all them people do that, and they are all in the same team, I'm nine times out of 10 sure that he can help me do that as well. This is awesome. And they like the whole thing, right? And then you seal the deal on your website. You seal the deal, right? With one last set of videos. You can have as many of these as, much, as you want. Testimonials. You know what I'm saying? Testimonials, not just about MCA, but about the training that your team offer, about all the things that your team is doing. You understand what I'm saying? You, testimonials, testimonials about MCA and compensation plan, testimonials about people using the benefits, testimonials about your team training. And if you don't want a team that don't have testimonials about the training, then that's telling you something about your team. On my team, we got testimonials for days <laughs> talking about the No Boss Lifestyle team, right? And so once you structure your website like this, once you structure your website like this, now this is a website, right? And this person has seen the comp, they done seen the training, and they done seen testimonials, and guess what? Dollars is going to come off the back of that all day long. Once you got this set up and your funnel is running like a well oiled machine, right? Once you got that set up, your funnel is running like a well oiled machine. All you got to do is keep sending traffic to your message. I forgot the beginning of this. The ad. That's your message. That's part of your message. And this, this go, that and that go together. Your content and your message need to be congruent. And your capture page need to say the same thing as your ad. Because if it say something different, you're messing them up. You're giving them too much to think about. So it all has to be in congruency. And when this is running like that, you got yourself a well-worn machine.